Okay, I'm going to talk about this map that I found. It is from 1562. It looks like Diego Gu Gutierrez and a couple other people possibly contributed. Maybe one other person. So from 1562, we have this very interesting map and it has most of America and some of Africa and Europe and South America and Mexico but what is interesting is down here this is Antarctica and it's incredibly close to the bottom of South America if you look at Antarctica today on the map it's not even close but in this map it's almost right on top of it not only that but look at all of the ports and city names of places on Antarctica and they named it Tierra de Magellanus or I don't know if this is related to Magellan but they had a name for this continent not only that, they showed Tierra de Patagones. These are the Patagonian giants. They're almost twice as tall as this man. Their bow is taller than him. Gigantum Regio, like a royal giant. What happened to these people? Now, they also have regular people on this map. Just kind of cooking some food with the deer cooking and eating. So they definitely understood what uh, a, a regular person looked like and a, a giant when they made this map. And these giants were at the bottom of South America. And there were ports and cities next to, to uh, the, the coastline of Antarctica here. They have a lot of mythological characters. These are some mermaids that always gets put on. A lot of ships. They have a picture of Poseidon. Some strange creatures in the water. Whatever that's supposed to be. Whales. This is a strange one. That's probably a whale. Some water coming out. But they have all kind of names all along the coast. So they named all of these places, which makes me wonder if it was fully inhabited. And, as usual, there's these references to gods and goddesses, like this one's Victoria, and the French royal house heraldry, Florida Lee over here. They had the mountains. They knew where the mountains were. So they had a pretty good idea of the area and I don't think that they would have drawn this up here and just put names on here if this wasn't an area they could actually go and dock and maybe there are people living here there's even what appears to be a river it's not frozen over so what do we have going on here? Now, there was an earthquake in the 1800s that reversed the direction of the Mississippi. And there were also some volcanic eruptions in the early 1800s, like Krakatoa was one of them, 1883. And it did change the weather patterns and 
there was no summer. So you just saw that. What volcano erupted in 1883 to cause a year without the summer? That's Krakatoa, but there was one in 1815, which was Mount Tambora. So you had two major eruptions of volcanoes and those were then in the 1800s but prior to that we had maps showing california as an island and now this map showing antarctica with a river and ports and cities named and very close to south america where there were giants here so Definitely, this has uh, been changed. The landmass has probably changed in the 1800s. And I would imagine a lot of devastation occurred, especially with these eruptions affecting the crops and the food supply. I'm going to guess that something major changed on the planet either in 1815 or 1883 or both and I would think that at that point that's when the history was rewritten and truth was erased and I think Antarctica probably was uh, habitable to a certain degree until things changed but I'd really like to know what happened to these people. And I believe a lot of them were hunted down and killed. It makes you wonder if there's any of them left hiding in the jungles to get away from this uh, species of hominid. And you can see that they're caucasoid, they had beards. Very interesting. So I'm going to keep looking for more of the hidden human story. The old maps uh, definitely tell a whole different story that is consistent with ancient mythology and uh, ancient stories of our past. Thanks.